It's Monday afternoon here at the big board in U.S. stocks. They managed to cut their earlier losses since the morning as investors continue to monitor developments in the Russian invasion of Ukraine, including a new series of sanctions from the U.S. and other allies. Now, over the weekend, the U.S. joined Europe and Canada in moving to bar key Russian banks from the interbank messaging system SWIFT. The system connects more than 11,000 banks and financial institutions in more than 200 countries and territories. Meanwhile, in the Forex market, it's a bit of the same since the morning. The euro dollar is where we begin. That sees the upside prevail. The British pound U.S. dollar pair also sees the upside prevail, while the dollar yen, that's under pressure and in focus. The pair is capped by the resistance at 115.60 and stands below its 20 and 50 period moving averages, which are close to validating a bearish cross. So short positions below 115.60 are favored with targets at 115 and 114.80 in extension. The Bitcoin dollar is moving above its upper Bollinger Band. 38,090 is the pivot point, while gold is turning up. That's also in focus. Gold is on the upside above the horizontal support at 1,900 and above its moving averages. Long positions above 1,900 are favored with targets at 1931 and 1955 in extension. This while silver, that sees the upside prevail. Don't forget to follow Trading Central on Twitter and other social media networks for all of your Forex market updates. And for Trading Central Web TV, on this Monday afternoon, live from the New York Stock Exchange, I'm James Sweeney.